So far, so good. We have a view model that encapsulated all the the logic that stands behind our view. It is not in our view layer, it is not in the code behind file of our main window, it's encapsulated in a kind of class class library, in a separate class. And with this, it enables us, it gives us the possibility to really test large parts of the logic that is inside that that makes our user interface without doing complex user interface automation or user interface uh, tests. I want to demonstrate that. Let's add a new project. This time I add a where's my mouse? Here it is. I add a test project. A C sharp test project and I call this one key result dot test. And the test project, wait until Visual Studio finishes generation of the test project. In the test project, we need exactly the same application configuration as in the full client. So I copy the app.config file and I add another reference and I add the reference to the full client to enable testing of the view model here. Add some references. System dot system dot oh, it will tell me what I need. Can't remember, but that's not a problem. We will do a view modal test here. The first tap test mode um, should test whether the view model automatically loads up all events as soon as it is, as it is created. So we we'll call this one test event list refresh. Quite simple. Our view model equals to new maintenance form view model. We need the using. Um, Let's say we'll define at least, we, we say uh, the view modal has to load events within three seconds. It's, it's very simple. I'm absolutely sure that you can imagine a more complex testing logic, but for the sake of simplicity here, I'll just say thread uh, dot sleep, sorry, dot sleep for three seconds and then we do it assert dot is true vm dot events dot count is greater zero so first test is written let's start with this one and we have a build uh, system runtime serialization I knew that I missed something system of runtime dot serialization so, second try, build succeeded, and with the test, and where is our test result? Let's clean up the screen here. Test, oops, it was too fast for me, as you can see. Uh, test has been ta uh, has been passed. So this is a very simple test of our logic inside the UI. Remember, this is not business logic. This is really testing the behavior of the UI. Assuming that the that the data binding expression is correct, we can say that our user interface behaves correctly because the event list is automatically filled. Now let's do a little more complex test. Test method public void test competitor list refresh this one's a little bit more complex again we need our view model here we have the view model again let's wait for three seconds again 
I'm absolutely sure this is not a perfect solution. You should not do that in your uh, productive environment. You c uh, could come up with much more uh, complex and more elaborated solutions for than just waiting for three seconds. But in this demo, uh, it's it's really enough. So now we have uh, the first test already checks that the event list is filled. And as we can say, the let's say we'll select the the second event. So what we can do is we say VM dot current event equals to vm dot events dot skip one dot dot first and now we can say again we give the user interface three seconds to load up the competitors for the set event and now we can say assert dot is true vm dot competitors dot count greater than zero we can also add a few more interesting tests here we could for instance say var um, competitor refresh event raised equals false and now we say the following we say vm dot property changed plus equals sender event arcs if um, event arcs dot property name equals to competitors then we'll define competitor fresh event raised equals to true and now we can here check whether uh, our view model correctly raised an event that the competitor's property has changed, which is very important. Otherwise, the user interface would not discover that the data grid has to be refreshed. And we can check that very easily. Just say assert dot is true from the competitor refreshed event raised here we check the competitors I think that would be uh, that that is enough for the moment I think you you get the point and we'll run this test to see whether our user interface will behave correctly window test result you see test event list refresh is currently running this one's green and now we have the test competitor list refresh Woo. False. Hey, we have a problem. The property competitors, the 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 event is never. Oh, I see. I did something wrong. Of course, we have to check that after the after the sleep. The first one, the first test went fine, so we just have to rerun the second one. The test competitor list refresh. Wait for some seconds. This is why waiting for three seconds is not the best solution, but as you can see, the test is passed. So we have tested the behavior of the user interface without a user interface automat aut automation test. So testing gets a lot easier by using the MVVM architecture.